Hi everyone, it's Mark from Polkopolypse now in Oxnard, California. And today I'm gonna to show you my accordion practice area setup. This is an overview of the accordion practice area. And we'll start with the accordions. And my first recommendation is that um, I have all three of my accordions here under dust covers. And I highly recommend that it keeps them dust free and minimizes the time you have to clean them, polish them, etc. So I have uh, three accordions. We'll talk about those all later in a different video. Um, the two covers on the right I purchased online and the cover on the left was handmade by my mother-in-law for my small honer accordion. All right, here's kind of the center of the uh, practice area is of course a great music stand. This is a Belmont or Belmonte, if you were, depending on whether you pronounce that E at the end or not. Um, very sturdy tripod base on this, adjustable in a bunch of different ways. Um, and it has, it's a deep stand, so you can fit quite a bit of music on there. I recommend just a few things uh, for the stand. I like to keep binder clips on my stand. And that way when I have a big big piece of big music book or something and I need to keep it clipped open to a page, I can just clip it from the side here. That's helpful. I've taped to my stand the Circle of Fifths and I've taped uh, an accordion uh, 120 bass chart just for reference on there. So that's the stand. Few accessories on the stand are, I got this, um, this light from, I believe it was probably Amazon. So it's an LED, two levels, rechargeable light. That's been really good. And then I added, uh, I wanted to see, I didn't, I wasn't smiling enough when I was playing. Um, so I actually added this mirror, probably also from Amazon as well. And that lets me kind of look at myself every now and then when I'm playing. I think it's, you know, for use at the office or whatever, but it clips nicely here to the, uh, to the music stand. So I have that on the stand as well. So the binder clips, the light, the mirror, all highly recommended on the music stand for music stand accessories. All right, the next important piece is um, I have an accordion throne, which is, of course, actually a drum throne. It's a rock and sock. Great brand. Um, this has the manual spindle, height adjustable, the tripod feet. I did have to replace the rubber feet on this once. Um, I think the first ones might have just been a little defective, so they cracked. Um, but it was easy to find replacement feet, and they have I've had no problems with them since then. You can get these with a backrest if you want. That's not that important to me when I'm playing. So this this but this has been a great. Uh, great practice chair to have. One other music stand accessory I forgot to show you is um, the magnetic, the magnet that goes around the pencil. I just find that extremely handy. And so you can buy those magnets. Um, so my Apple Pencil will eventually have one since I do a lot. We'll talk about it later, but I have quite a bit of my music scanned into the iPad. But the magnetic pencil is is a uh, great addition, easy for the music stand there. All right, next is my wicker basket here on the floor. This stores all my uh, music books and uh, sheet music. So I keep them, you know, together by technique and then I keep them in alphabetical order by book and then sheet music is kept separately at the end just organized in alphabetical order. I've scanned a lot of my music, but you know, if you're using a large book like this Enzaghi book, I usually, I, the, not all of that of course is scanned in, it's so long. Um, so I still use, I still use probably 50% of the time I'm using books and 50% of the time I'm using the iPad. I've indexed all my books as well as all the uh, sheet music, just in case I run across someone who's looking for a specific piece or, or book. I can find out quickly if I have that. Um, 
and let them know. All right, if you use dis digital music, scanned music, then of course an iPad is essential. This The music stand is big enough that it can easily hold the iPad. No problem of it slipping up here off the front of the lip. It's deep enough to accommodate the iPad. And then when you're using the iPad, um, I've I uh, there's another device you need, and that is a paid Bluetooth page turner. So I'll have a link to this. There's several of these out there, many of these out there. And uh, I've mine's simple. I guess you can program it to do different things. But if you power it on, I'll put it on the floor here. Well, and then when you click on it, it will turn the pages on the iPad back and forth. So on the iPad, I'm using Foursquare, Foursquare, I'm sorry, Foursquare uh, for my uh, digital music, my scanned music, and I'll have a different uh, video where I talk about the apps that I use for music and music practice. But that, this is just to show that, you know, if, you're, if you do that, I recommend having the page turner. So you also might need a tripod if you're taking any video of yourself um, playing or or if you want to mount a um, tripod mounted microphone or recording device you need a tripod for that as well i have a few different uh, so mine's just a simple camera tripod with a ball head but i have a few different mounts i have a mount that holds the iphone as well as a mount that holds the uh, ipad all right, just a few more items for you. Cleaning cloth for the accordion. Keep it clean, dust it off. I use uh, the original beeswax furniture polish on my accordion that was recommended to me by somebody. Works very well, so when it needs a polishing, I polished up with that. So that and the polishing cloth. I have a little bit of a, I don't know what you'd call it, like an arm sleeve that I'll wear on the base side. This is made by Skandali. And um, it, it's not as tight as like a compression sleeve. It has some tightness to it, but it's not crazy tight. But what I've found is that it helps you, um, you don't stick to the base side as much. So if you, you can move around a little easier on that side. I don't use it that often. But if I have a song that might have some big bass jumps in it, I consider using it and I use it a little bit more often for those songs. So I'm still kind of figuring out when and where to use this that, that device. Um, recommend the uh, a good grip master for working on your finger strength for playing the accordion, piano accordion, button accordion, both of them. Earplugs. Accordion can be a loud instrument, and sometimes it's just nice to play with a set of earplugs. And then I also keep a, uh, I have a set of headphones on my music rack. And I use these for, mine. these are still wired, but you could, of course, use wireless. I use these for, um, sometimes it's easier to hear the metronome, or if I'm playing something through a, through the drum machine. Uh, I just put the headphones on because then I can hear the beat a little bit easier. Um, and then if I'm playing, if I'm playing to or with a backing track, then I have this on. I'm listening to the backing track on the headphones and just playing the accordion. So the headphones are, are an important device. I should probably get some wireless ones, but these are working fine, so I didn't want to replace them quite yet. All right, and my last device is, um, I don't have it with me, it's at work, but it is a digital recorder. You can use your iPhone, you can use your uh, iPad, but I think the digital recorder has better audio quality. And there's a way to use your digital recorder as the microphone for your iPad or iPhone, or I think even a digital camera, if you're shooting with a digital camera, some video. Um, so I have the Zoom H1N which is a pretty base model digital recorder, but it's, it's the sound is, is good. 
And um, I'm going to have a different video on just kind of going through the use of that. But whether you're recording, you know, uh, music to share or just recording music for you to listen to yourself and, you know, kind of um, critique, um, I recommend having the digital uh, recorder. And mine, the, the, the Zoom has a uh, tripod mount on it. So you can set the tripod right out in front of you or wherever you want to have it to get the, the best sound from your instrument. All right, so thanks for joining. That was just a quick tour of my accordion practice area setup. Let me know uh, what, what uh, you like to have in your setup, uh, what different things you have there ready to go. Um, I'm always interested in seeing how other people set up, you know, to practice uh, effectively. All right, thanks for joining. This is Mark. See you later.